Welcome to the new episode of Sports Seat. Let's talk sports tech. Today we have with us CEO of Stretchkin, Arifin Khwaja. Stretchkin is a smart physical rehabilitation solution using a soft sensor technology. The patients have low adherence and a low adaptation of technology due to wearability issue related to the parts of the human body, which cannot be measured using conventional sensor used during physiotherapy. Stretchkin have developed an affordable smart soft sensor solution using the flexible and stretchable sensor for human motion capture using an AI driven rehab platform with games for personalized rehabilitation. The adaptation of this platform can be for elderly at the same time for the sports athlete uh, going through the physical rehabilitation. Today we have with us Stretchkin, a Qatar sports tech accelerator company. Hi, Arifin. Uh, great to have you on Sportsy, where we talk about sports. And now we are here to talk about sports tech with you. All right. Hi. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, for, for the viewers, we have Arifin, CEO of Stretchkin, which is a smart physical rehabilitation solution using the soft sensor technology. Yep. So, Arifin, uh, a PhD in emotional well-being, well-being and everything that you have, your research in different lang- different technology and different field. What got you to uh, stretch skin and what is the problem that you're trying to solve? Okay. So a large part of my work uh, during my PhD was during my attachment in the Center for Healthy and Sustainable City mm-hmm. uh, in the university where I was doing my PhD, which is Nanyang Technological University. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then part of it was looking at issues with elderly, how to motivate elderly to get them to move, how to get them to exercise. Because most of the time, elderly, you know, to do rehab uh, for the elderly, they find it a chore. You know, it's such a boring thing to do for them. So we were looking at means and ways, you know, to encourage them to, you know, to move and, and, and at the same time have fun. Mm-hmm. So... Um, Part of Stretchkin was actually looking at how we can, you know, uh, encourage people to exercise, you know, and uh, elderly was a main part of it. Like, given that Singapore is, you know, getting, uh, is going to be a grey population, you know, we yeah. are going to be a super aged country soon. So, a super aged country are countries which have more than 20% of its population above the age of 65. Right. Yeah. So, that got me started with Stretchkin. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, excellent. So, how are you, uh, so how are you actually solving this problem using stress skin? So, um, uh, one of the interesting thing was that I met my co-founder Mayang, who was a research engineer in the same university where I was doing my PhD. Mm-hmm. So, Mayang is an uh, expert in flexible and stretchable electronic sensors. Okay. Um, and he himself has a passion for volunteerism. And he has been, you know, volunteering at some elderly uh, homes in Singapore. So Mayang is actually from India, from Delhi. So he came from Singapore uh, to do his master's and then he carried on to be a research engineer in the same university. Mm-hmm. Um, w- while he was doing his uh, volunteer work, he realized that, you know, when they are doing rehab, uh, there is not much uh, objective manner in how a patient's uh, rehab uh, session is being assessed. Mm-hmm. So be- most of the time how a patient's progress is done uh, is observed through purely observation you know by looking you know by looking at them how are they doing you know whether they are having a good gait whether they're moving well and all that so given his background in uh, stretchable electronics he felt that uh, one of the key components of stretchable electronics is able to detect uh, motion, uh, strain or motion and it's also able to detect gripping force Okay. So because of the strain that you can, you know, you can measure. So if you convert that into rehab, basically range of motion. So motion and so we convert that into range of motion. And then for the strain is actually you can use it for gripping force. So if you were to use it in a glove form, you can basically the way you move and your, your gripping force, you can actually measure that, you know. So when I met him, he was talking about flexible and stretchable electronics. And I was uh, attached to uh, chess. And my supervisor for my PhD, she's a director for the Aging Research Institute for Society and Education. So it's just nice. <laughs> so I knew the problem when he told me and I told him, look, this thing is magic. You know, you can actually convert this 
and you know you can actually play around with it so that was what got us to start working together mm -hmm. so we realized that uh, what we were working on was this gaming platform for rehab right in the research center and then whereby we see kinect games where you know the patients can interact with the kinect games but there was an issue because for patients who are not mobile for patients who are not able to bring themselves in front of the screen mm -hmm. so what we do you see so the thing is about you can put any kind of wearables on these patients, even if they are wheelchair bound or they are bit, uh, they are on their bed, they are not mobile. They, they can still control the game avatars and you know play with the games. So that was the whole idea it started. Right. So uh, so how, how as, at one side you're talking about the helping the rehab for the elderly. Uh, how do you think this is going to actually help the rehab of the sports athletes and the uh, and people from the injury as well? So. Uh, the issue of patient adherence during physical rehab is across the board. Correct. So I realized that maybe for the elderly, because they have not been mobile, you know, for them is you know a chore, you know, uh, uh, so games actually help them. But uh, what we did was we set up a competition known as Sing Games, uh, mm -hmm. Singapore Intergenerational National Games. Okay. And then what we did was we pair an undergraduate with an elderly, and then get them to play with the games. And then we realized that the, the the youngsters are also enjoying the game. So people who are people who are mobile, people who are you know, and you know, being undergraduate undergraduate, they should be at the prime time of their physical physique, you know. So so there's no issue of that. And then when we start talking to uh, the uh, we start talking to the therapists in Singapore. So some of them are sports therapists. They saw this as uh you know this is something could be used for sports as well you know because they are getting injured you know uh they, they will also need to do physical rehab and then we went to malaysia we talked to the malaysian physiotherapy association we did a conference and we were in, we were invited to to in a conference and then we realized that there's more to this than just elderly rehab right. so you can actually do uh, sports rehab you know and then you can also measure how uh, the, the the athletes is progressing after being injured and all that yeah. because sometimes they are too eager to get to the game so they yeah. may not prioritize uh, the physical rehab aspect of it correct and that that has been a that is a regular chap problem with the with the athlete they want to they are eager to come back on the field uh, yeah we so lose, uh, you may lose your space in a uh, spot you know if you do not play get injured another player is doing well you know sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. So. correct. So, uh, so Arifin, uh, while you're working on this, what is the what is the model that you have got on? Is it a B two B model? Is it a B two B two C or is it a B two C model? How do you plan to actually get? Because this is going to work along with the variable and the devices. So, how is the implementation and uh, adaptation going to be? So, um, with regards to the gaming platform that we have, you know, so we we call this uh, gaming platform the virtual exercise therapy system. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that uh, we have already started selling in Singapore, it, and it was I mean coincidentally it was when we started with the QST well, about a month ago we start, we we managed to clinch a deal, and the idea was actually to go to rehab clinics, to go to hospitals, uh, uh, and also in Singapore for the uh, for the senior centers where they do the exercises. So basically it's a B two B model where we sell to such organizations. Okay. Uh, um, we have been uh, advised by some mentors, you know, to look at B two C. We, uh, you know, we, we are reviewing it and see whether is it, you know, uh, is it going to be affordable? You know, can we uh, manage it as a startup? You know, you going to B two C means uh, there's going to be a, a lot of clients that you got got to deal with one to one. So right. at the moment, right now, uh, we are not discounting B two C, but we are going B two B. Mm -hmm. And apart from B, uh, so our model is that we in Singapore at the moment we are still going to going direct sales. Uh, perhaps yeah, if we go to other Southeast Asian countries and or we go to uh, Qatar, you know, where we do not have much leads, we do not have we do not know uh, the feel of the land. Right. What we probably do is to work with true distributors, you know, and then they can sell it to sports rehab, to hospitals, to rehab clinics. With regards to there is a component in our solution which is the uh, which is the soft sensors. So mm -hmm. the soft sensors are the one which is able to detect motion and detect gripping force and all that. So that part of it, most of our IP resides in the soft sensors. So what we plan is that these soft sensors can actually be licensed out to companies to come up with their own solutions. 
you know they might be want to, they might want to focus in a particular sports like golf like mm. this you know or even uh, car racing you know when you grip the steering wheel and how it moves and all that so uh, we feel that uh, we would like to license uh, that soft sensors you know once we are ready with it we are, we can uh, license it up so these are the two models one is to work through distribution a uh, distributorship and another one is to work through licensing of the soft sensors yeah mm -hmm. Interesting. And uh, uh, as you said that you already have a deal, you're in Singapore and Qatar Sportsec is, is where you're getting accelerated. So what is the role of Qatar Sportsec in your journey and how do you think it's actually going to benefit uh, you uh, in your next steps? Okay. The, the interesting part was that after we started the company, like two months, you know, after starting the company, uh, one of our angel investors in Singapore, she brought us to meet uh, this Singaporean who is based in US. But he was so keen on Qatar. He kept okay. telling me, go to Qatar, go to Qatar. You know, I've got uh, people there telling me that they have got good sports rehab clinics. You know, they got, yes. you know, good facilities and great facilities. Even the Premier League players are going there. The La Liga players are going there. So, although we were not in the QST program, you know, QST came like, you know, like two years down the road. Mm -hmm. you no. Know, down the road but you know we were we we heard about qatar qatar you know like two months into our startup journey so when i got to know about qst i read up about it you know a bit more then i felt that though we had our pipeline was to go into sports rehab you know after going to elderly rehab but this is an opportunity you know which is which presents itself and then we felt that it's something too good to just let go and apply you know, and thankfully, you know, I we, we were selected to be part of this QST uh, startups. Yeah. So, so uh, their role yeah. is, you know, given that the World Cup is coming and they are known as an accelerator for sports, you know, there, there's a focus on sports and specifically for, you know, for soccer. Yeah. We, uh, we will be able to uh, not only the mentors and the help that we can get from QST, but also like-minded uh, startups, you know, for sports tech. Yeah. yeah. So excellent. Excellent. I think your your field is pretty interesting, and uh, you have the right knowledge and experience to take it because this is this is IP driven field. This is not a fan engagement. It's IP driven, real meat uh, that you're working on. And uh, so, wh when do you see that uh, yeah, that you will actually enter full fledged into sports? Um, right now, uh, in Singapore. Uh, we are we are already talking to some parties because our in-house uh, physiotherapist that is helping us, he's actually a sports therapist. Mm -hmm. He works for the Football Association of Singapore. You okay. know? Uh, so basically, uh, as we are developing this uh, for the elderly, we have something in mind. You know, uh, what do we do for for soccer players? You know, uh, and, and that's also we are still talking to uh, parties who are involved in sports. Mm -hmm. But we felt that going to Qatar, uh, basically um, through our mentors, you know, and also QST, we plan to actually provide the solution because we realize that the solution can be, you know, can be used by anybody who wants to go rehab. You know, they can, right. they can just benefit from it, you know, and enjoy it. Um, we mentioned about B two C. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically, if we say that uh, in Singapore, at least if it's a middle income, you know, person, you know, they might not be able to afford it. But, you know, if you're talking about La Liga players, you're talking about, you know, you're talking about EPL players, then there shouldn't be an issue, you know, to have it even in their homes installed. You know, there's a couple of thousand USD and, you know, they can have it installed. So we, we think that if there is a need, if there is a demand, we are ready to fulfill the demand. It's just when you are exposed to that. So, uh, and one of the things uh, in uh, in Qatar, we are also thinking of going to the stadiums, creating a corner, you know, like uh, like like a, some sort of entertainment corner. We, you know, if, if everything goes well, you know, depending on how the situation with COVID, if everything goes well, actually we can engage the spectators, you know, before they go to the stadium or at the corner, you can have booths for people to exercise, to play the games and all that. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, so while we're talking about all this thing, uh, you just made it test upon some costing of thousand, two thousand dollars, and all those things. So, uh, how is a typical use case uh, that uh, people can actually look at? Like, how do I buy this? How do I get monitored? How do I get the benefits? So, can you just walk us through a quick use case? And so, basically, the game platform has nine games and nine exercises. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. 
what we do is that uh, for us uh, in Singapore is that we have already got uh, about 20 homes who actually uh, join us for the competition, the Sing Games uh, competition that we did. So we just go back to them and say, okay, look, your elderly have enjoyed these games and they have played and all that. So uh, would you like another demo? And most of them say, we know the game, we know the system. It's just that we want you to do one more presentation and we will call our doctors. And so we present again to them. And then uh, basically they will get back to us, you know, whether they, uh, you know, they will proceed because not only you need to be interested in the product, but they might, we also need to have the budget for it, you know, so Correct. we will foundation depending. So in Singapore, at least when we see an elderly home, which is a foundation, which does not have much budget, we will look at the grants which is available, apply it for them, work together with them to apply and, you know, get them to purchase it. For those uh, homes or rehab clinics, which is already, you know, uh, is able to purchase it, we will go straight forward with them. In terms of benefits, uh, some of these games are meant for upper body exercises. Some of these games are meant for lower body. So we have your standard exercises to detect the motion, you know, like for upper arm and lower arm, and then we got the games. And some of the games are meant for different parts of the bodies. So after the exercises, so you can set up what kind of games you want your patients to play, even for the clinics. They can set it up and then there's a dashboard you need to monitor for, for, the, for the coaches or for the sports therapists to go in and see how long have they played the game, what kind of games they were playing and you know what kinds of games is suitable for them. Right. So the long-term haul is basically, um, uh, so the games is already done. And for our wearables, we have we have also uh, we have developed the prototype. There are games uh, that we can play with with the wearables. The idea is to combine the games from the wearables and the games from the from the from the Kinect based uh, system and okay. combine them into one. So you can have two options: whether you want to play via the Kinect or you want to play via the the wearables. So, so and you can monitor the patients how much uh, energy they have burned, their range of motion how they are progressing. Everything is taken care basically uh, through the dashboard. So that's how you look at the progress. Yeah. Excellent. I think this this explains it pretty well and uh, connects the dots about the rehab and a physical rehab and people who can do it, people who are uh, like movable can do it, immovable people can also how can use it. I think the gamification aspect is pretty good and uh, it's, it's good to know that it is serving all, all aspects of society, not only sports, but the elderly, which also going to need a lot of help. Uh, on this, so I think it's a good adaptation of technology that you guys have at uh, at Stretch Skin. Uh, I still find it a tongue twister uh, the, to take take your name, uh, but uh, but uh, wonderful talking to you, uh, Arifin. I think it's a wonderful product, and uh, looking forward to see you in the market. Thank you, Sid. Thank you so much, Sid. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, and thank you for sharing. But please do subscribe on our channel, Sports C Sales, and help us spread the word about Sports C. We go with the same handle, Sports C Sales, across all the social media platforms.